Hey guys, it's Beth. Today I'll be using these stir sticks from Walmart. Ended up using only one of these dowels from Hobby Lobby and some giant craft sticks from Walmart. I started by measuring and cutting the dowel from Hobby Lobby. I cut three pieces that were six inches and then three pieces that were five and a half inches. And I use my pruning shears to cut them. After the pieces were all cut, I sanded all of the edges. I then took one of the six inch pieces and one of the five and a half inch pieces and used wood glue to glue them together at a 90 degree angle. And then I added a couple of staples where they were connected just for extra stability. And then used some painter's tape to tape them together while they dried. And I made three of those. Next I took three of these giant craft sticks, which were from Walmart, placed them down, and then set my little dowel set on top of those, making sure either end of the dowel set is along one straight piece of the craft stick and then trace that out use my fisker shears to cut those marks and after those were cut i sanded all the edges where i had made those cuts and then i set those three up against each other how they're going to be placed on the dowels and I needed a little bit more on the point where the dowel is at the angle so I just took one of my scrap pieces of craft stick and traced out that little piece cut that out and sanded it as well and then I glued those all together so they stayed in place flipped it over so this will be the bottom of it took some small craft sticks and used wood glue and hot glue to glue them together, just making sure to glue them in the center so the dowels, when I place them on, won't hit those sticks. So this is what it looks like when it's all put together and it'll go like that on top of the dowels. And I made three of those. And then I took gel stain from Hobby Lobby in the color Walnut, brushed that on each of my dowel sets and took a baby wipe to blend it in. And then I had taken my three sets of little triangles I made with the craft sticks, painted them with Snow White chalk paint by Waverly, and I painted them entirely and I gave them two coats. Next I took wood glue and hot glue, placed it on one side of the dowel set. and then place down my craft sticks right on top. And then took some clamps and just clamped that together while that wood glue dried. And I did that to all three. And then I took my stir sticks, these are five gallon stir sticks I got from Walmart, and measured them out about 16 and a half inches, made sure that they were all lined up, and then made a straight line just to make sure that they were all going to be the same length. And then I used my pruning shears to cut those stir sticks down. You don't have to do this. If you like the stir stick look, you can just leave them as they are and just have the stir stick be the top of the shelf. 
Once I had them cut down, I applied the gel stain in walnut, brushed it on, and then blended it with a baby wipe, and I covered those entirely. And then I laid down one of the stir sticks and then placed each of my little shelves I made along the stir stick. Kind of saw where I wanted to place them. And then I'm gonna measure out and put down some tape for markings where I'm gonna put the glue. The bottom one, the bottom shelf is going to be three quarters of an inch up from the bottom. So I place the painter's tape on that three quarter inch mark and then use wood glue and hot glue above that tape line and place down my shelf. And then for the next one, I measure from the top of that bottom shelf and I ended up making my mark at about six and a half inches. So at the six and a half inch mark, I placed down my painter's tape and then again doing the same thing, the wood glue and hot glue. And then the third shelf, I measured and glued six inches from the middle shelf. And then I take it and flip it. So I'm working on the other corner of the shelf, place down some wood glue, and then on the edge of the stir stick, add some more wood glue, adding hot glue to the shelves right by that wood glue, and then placing down another stir stick, making sure it's lined up along the edge of the other stir stick and then added some painter's tape to hold that into place until it dries. And then I take another stir stick and place it on the very edge of my little shelf I made, so the end of the dowel. And I just use a square to line up the stir stick so the spacing is right and so that it'll be level. And then once I have the edges straight with each other. I take painter's tape and place it where the shelves meet that stir stick. And then after I have my tape marks, I pull the shelf away from the stir sticks, add my wood glue and hot glue right above the tape. And then I place the shelves back down making sure the ends of those dowels are flush with the edge of the stir stick and then remove my tape. And then I flip it over and do the same thing on the other edge of that shelf. And then the last thing I do, this part was a little tricky just because I had to prop it up so that it had something underneath it because I'm going to put some small finishing nails on each stir stick where it meets the shelf. So on each stir stick, you're going to have six nails. I put two in each shelf on each stir stick. So this is the center I'm working with, just using some pliers to hold the small nails in place and then hammer them in. So I won't bore you with showing that I put nails in each shelf on each stir stick, 
but I just finished up the nails on each shelf and then removed my tape and that is it. Just a super cute and easy little corner shelf. Thank you guys so much for watching.